Hey, here's your heads up to this five minute quickie. It's all about a question. Wouldn't you love a question that would make the achieving of your goals easy, effortless, and just ah, be so awesome and be so simple? What would that be like if you knew one of those? Well, have a listen, because I've got one for you right now. Warning. 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 You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal development unplugged. Hey, welcome back to the 5 Minute Quickie Podcast with me, Paul Clough. And here's a question for you. Don't you just love questions? Really good questions, really good formulated questions. I do. I think they're the most awesome thing you can have in your your artillery. So every time you're thinking of goals and, and things you want to do, you have questions that really bring out either the things you need to mitigate or the things you need to do. Because if you don't have those questions, you just go blind. You just go blind and blindly at it, you know, and you just, well, it's unfocused. I think it just draws your focus of attention into the right areas. Now, if you had a question that exposed or brought out objections, would you like to know it? And you see, objections could be seen as obstacles, hurdles that are in the way to achieving your goals. That's the way I saw it. Although it wasn't how I heard it to start off with. Because I was listening to an interview, an interview with a guy called Chris Voss. It was an awesome interview. If you want to listen to it, it wasn't with me. I don't do interviews, but it was on the Jordan Harbinger Show podcast. Look for Chris Voss, negotiating skills. But you see, I want to give that credit, by the way, because it was an awesome interview. And this guy, Chris, Chris Voss, may not have created this question, but he was good enough to share it. And I think he was sharing a little nugget a real nugget. And we love sharing on the show, don't we? Because what's sharing all about? Receiving a gift feels awesome. Giving a gift feels awesome. Awesome for the giver, awesome for the receiver. So sharing what we have here gets you to feel awesome, gets the person receiving this sharing to feel even more awesome and to know they're connected and to know you're connecting. It's the most wonderful feeling in the world. I love when my sons send me information to look at because they're sharing with me, they're thinking about me, we're connecting, and I know they feel good when they do it too. So why not share this podcast, if you would, to connect with others, share it with your friends, even people you don't know. It will make such a difference to them. It's selfless service, which is this, well, what is this podcast is, is based upon? And it's reciprocal. And it's not meant to be, but it just is. So the more you share, the more you get back, even though we do it in a selfless way. It just makes the whole world so much better. And you will never know how far the ripples of change will go by just sharing or just sharing what you know and thinking about people. Let's connect. Let's make everyone else feel awesome because we're connecting with them. It will really feel so good. <laughs> that was a sneaky little plug for sharing. Anyway, let's get back to this thing about questions. Okay, I love questions. Now, when I listened to this interview, I heard this question. But it was put in the context of finding objections to closing a negotiation. But I thought, that is such a powerful question. How could we use it? You know, what would it be like? Remember that question, that question that we've, we got from Tim Ferriss, you know, what would this look like, be like, if this was easy? Now, didn't that bring out things, to, it, it just gave you the impetus, the momentum, the motivation to go, yeah, actually, if it was easy, I'd do this, this, and this. So this is another simple question in the same type of mould that brings out the objections, the things that you need to, may need to consider to mitigate. 
Imagine you were thinking of a goal, a project, an outcome in mind, something you really want to do and you're planning to do. And if you were to ask this question, I think you'd find real gold dust in it. It would allow you to achieve that goal. It would certainly bring out not just objections, and there may be objections to it, but the the obstacles, the hurdles to stop you, or that may come up that would stop you achieving these goals. Now then, here's the thing. I know what you're saying. I know what you're thinking. Because I'm a hypnotist, you know, and I can get into your mind. But the thing is, what you're saying is, what's the bloody question, Cluffy? Come on, tell us. Well, here it is. And it is ridiculous. Ridiculously simple. And we love simplicity, don't we? Because what did Einstein, Einstein say? Get it right, Paul? In simplicity, there's genius. But don't make things too simple that they're too simple. Really? We'll see. Anyway, what's the question, Cluffy? I know. Here it is. And you might want to write this down. What you say to yourself is, is this ridiculous to think that this may work? Mm. I'm going to say that again. In the context of like negotiating and looking for exe- uh, looking for objections to closing a negotiation, it was said this way. Is this ridiculous to think that this might work for you? That's got to get people to think, isn't it? But when you're looking at your outcome, your goal, and you say to yourself, and maybe even write it down. I love writing the things down. You know, it gets that muscle memory. It gets your, your internal voice going, the pictures in your mind going. Is this ridiculous to think it might work? Because then you can think about, well, what would have to be ridiculous that it might not work? I've just changed that question slightly. But put, putting the two together. So, is this ridiculous to think it might work? And what would have to be ridiculous to think that it might not work? I just think you have to take take a, a little step back from that because it just seems ridiculously simple. But it's so powerful when you get into that. And if you were working on a project, an outcome, something you want to do, someone, something you want to speak to somebody about, you ask that question. You may want to ask them that question because it will bring out those objections. But ask it to yourself. You know, is this ridiculous to think it might work? I think you'll find there's so much in here. Write it down. Put it in your notebook with that other question. What, what would this be like, look like, if it was easy? Put those together. And you've got an awesome little bit of making you think deeply. But finding out those things that, that might stop you getting your dreams. Because I'm telling we're here to encourage each other, I guess, to get your dreams and more and to notice that you know when we ask these questions we're not going to have the failures of the past if there's such a thing as a failure it just meant i guess that you're in the wrong place but here with these questions now we're learning we're developing ourselves and when you do this the things that you might have been frightened of the fears of achieving the goal or the the fears of failure and failing in that goal these will allay those fears because you're now looking for those objections, looking for the things that are going to be easy. So you can go, well, put all your effort into it, knowing that you've got such a wonderful chance of success. You know, with the five keys to success, you know, knowing your outcome, taking massive intuit- intuitive action, being aware, being aware of where you are and towards that goal, having the flexibility when you're not in in line with the goal that you can move you can do something differently and having that physiology and psychology of excellence that's the five keys to success you can look that up on on another five minute quickie that we did because we have all of those then we can achieve our goals but you put these questions into that that thought frame of yours it would be awesome hey i really hoped you enjoyed this well it's a reasonably short five minute quickie for for a change but I think this is probably one of the really goodies. This is a gem. It really is a gem. If you thought it was a gem, send me some feedback. You know, what did you, how did you use it? What results did you get? If you didn't think it was a gem, give me some, some feedback to, to what you thought we could do to improve it. Let's share, you know, this integrated field of learning so we can just all improve. Look for different variations. Let's just be 
be out there helping other people. To do that, you now we talked about sharing, share the podcast. Remember, it really, really does help if you subscribe, download all the episodes. It really does, you know, it's there, they're there for you then, but it just helps when you're going through things like iTunes and CastBox and Spotify and things like that. It really does help the show. Yeah, show episodes. The Personal Development Unplugged podcast. It just really, really helps. And if you could put one of those little five-star feedback testimonial type things it would be awesome it would and remember as usual you've got paulcloughonline.com you can put slash podcasts and get all the hypnosis tracks you can have a look around that site you'll find lots of other things that are going on um supreme inner confidence is a program i've done it's a great program you've got one or two specialized hypnosis tracks um for deep relaxation and building your own inner retreat in your mind to be able to go into a place where you can deep you know, think deeply or, or just imagine things it's an awesome process just have a read have a look money back guarantee so you know you've got nothing to lose other than to gain what you want anyway have more fun than you can stand and i'll speak to you next time bye bye now Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.